Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about isometric views in Blender, how to fix or how to add an option to create or view your 3D objects in isometric mode. In a Blender, I'm, I'm not talking about isometric cameras, I'm talking about setting your 3D viewport here to isometric. That is something that is extremely important for anyone uh, working with precise modeling because uh, when you are uh, working in a perspective projection like this one here, you might get a false impression of scale or uh, sizing for certain types of objects. And working in an isometric view will give you certain that you are uh, using or you are creating objects with the correct sizes, even in a perspective view. Uh, this is uh, extremely important, especially for people migrating to Blender from softwares like AutoCAD, Rhino, SketchUp. Uh, all of those tools, they offer an easy way to set your views to isometric. And here in Blender, if you start to look into the view menu, you will find here an option to change your projection to a perspective or orthographic using the number five of, of your numeric keyboard. You can also change it here. It will change your projection, but no mention whatsoever about isometric views. If you try to look here into a viewport, no option. We have orthographic views here. Navigation, nothing here as well. And align view no help, nothing about isometric views. Let me show you how easy it is to change your viewport to isometric in uh, other tools. For instance, I have here AutoCAD and I'm in 3D mode. Let's create something or anything here in AutoCAD. And if I want to change this to isometric, you can easily, one of the ways to do that is to use this box navigation tool here. And if you click on this small corner of the box, you will change your view to isometric. It's that easy. You can also, uh, of course, change your projection here. You can click on this small button and change your projection from perspective into parallel projection. This will give you an isometric view. And here I have another tool at Rhinoceros. And let me show you how easy it is to set any view here in Rhinoceros to perspective. If I create anything like a simple box, uh, if you open here your viewport options, you will see that we have one of them as set view. And under here in set view, you can change your Isometric, let me zoom out so you can see it. Isometric, you can even choose the size or the direction of your isometric view. Let me choose this and northeast. And here it is. We have an isometric view. And for the last option, I have SketchUp. If I draw anything, like let's create something here in SketchUp using the push pull and I will enable here my toolbars. We have a toolbar called views. And if I use this small button here, it will change our view into isometric and you can change your camera to use a parallel projection and it will give us an isometric view. This is how easy it is to do this in uh, SketchUp. Back in Blender, how can we uh, do the, that exact same thing that we just saw in AutoCAD, Rhino, and SketchUp? How can we turn our 3D viewport here or change your viewport here into isometric mode? You will, be, uh, you will need an add-on to do that. Blender will not give you an option to do this with the default tools. But luckily for us, there is a free and uh, open source add-on that will help you to do that, which is PDT. I'm, I have been using PDT a lot here and on the channel, 
and it's a free and open source uh, add-on. It's part of the Blender ex uh, extension repository, so there is no uh, excuse not to be using PDT. How to install it? If you go under Edit Preferences and here under Get Extensions, if you type PDT, which is an acronym for uh, Preci uh, Precision Drawing Tools, you'll see a button here with an option to install PDT. And that's it. No big deal, no secret about uh, installing PDT. Let me close this and I will show you where you will be uh, finding PDT options. You will find the options here on the sidebar. You see a tab here for PDT. And this is, let me expand all of these tabs to show the options regarding PDT. It's I'll, it it's a full feature add-on. We have lots and lots of options. And one of those sections has a name of PDT View Control. It's this section here, and we have a button called Isometric. I'll let you guess what this Isometric button does. Yes, it will change your 3D viewport into Isometric. Let me show you how it works. Just... Uh, Open a scene, press this button, isometric, and there you go. You have an isometric view from your scene. Look how easy it is. Now, once you press this button, it will not give you an option to choose, for instance, for a, uh, for a, a specific direction, like southwest, nor uh, southwest, northeast. You have to rotate your view here. For instance, I will change an angle, let's say 45 degrees, and you can use this arrow buttons here to rotate your view. If you choose here 90 degrees instead of 45, you can then rotate your view to get all four isometric views to develop your project. This is it. This is how simple it is to change your 3D viewport into isometric mode here in Blender with the help of uh, PDT. If you want to learn more about PDT, I will leave links uh, in the description for learning resources from Blender 3D Architect that will help you understand not only Blender uh, for precise modeling, but also PDT. I have, for instance, a set of uh, books Let me show you a preview of those books. Those are, uh, this is a Blender 4.3 Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. I have versions of this book in English, French, Spanish, and a German. Let me show you some sample pages. One of the highlights of this book is uh, one of the highlights of this book is that it's focused on uh, step by step instructions. You can see here that I'm using steps to explain each one of the things that I'm talking about in each one of the pages. And each one of the steps has a corresponding number with what you have to do to achieve certain tasks. It's again, a step-by-step -step instruction on how to work with Blender for precise modeling. Uh, the paperback, it's printed in color. Another resource, is a workshop. I have the workshop page here. It's called Blender 4.2 uh, Precise Modeling, where I explain how to use Blender as a can to. It includes uh, full descriptions on uh, PDT and other add-ons. By the way, this uh, workshop follows the exact same path or learning learning resources from the book. You can easily say that it's uh, it's the workshop version of uh, those books that I just showed to you. Uh, it's a 10 hour, almost 10 hours workshop where I, I explain step by step how to use Blender to create precise modeling for architecture, engineering, and 3D printing. 
It's available from uh, Udemy and Gamro. One of the advantages of uh, Udemy here is that you get uh, lifetime access. So I will leave links in the description in case you want to support my work here and get either the workshop or the books. Uh, it will help me a lot. So I, I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.